everyone, it's Jen. Welcome back to Yarn Purpose. Today I'm going to show you what's in my notions bag. Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, today I wanted to show you what I have in my notions bag. Um, recently I've started actually carrying around a notions bag again. Um, I'll be honest. I tend to be really bad about this that like when I go to knit night and stuff I was just like throw my knitting bag and like my project bag in my purse and just go um, but now I've started carrying around this little bag which actually in most cases will fit inside those project bags that I showed you last week um, so it's perfect so I've been really enjoying actually having a notions bag like a real knitter um, so anyway I just thought I would show you what's inside I'll start by showing you the bag um, my friend Jenny went to London a few months ago on vacation and she brought me back this little bag as a souvenir and to me this is like the perfect size for my notions. I'll show you the label on the inside. I think she bought it at a yarn store in London while she was there. So there's the label. Um, I will try to find this online and then link it below. So anyway, let's get into what's actually in the bag. So the first thing I have in there is a nail file. Um, my friend Kelly gave this to me at Rhinebeck. She actually gave one to everybody a couple years ago. It's like perfect because it's in its own case. So that's great. So you're not snagging your yarn. Uh, then I actually have washi tape in there. Um, if you don't know, I'm a total planner nerd. Um, and I love like decorating my planner. Um, but I keep the washi tape in my notions bag because a lot of times when I'm working on a pattern, whether it's my own design or somebody else's, um, I always put it in a plastic, like, protective sleeve um, just to, like, keep it from getting, like, super crumpled in my bag. Um, and so I find that the washi tape, it's, like, really easy if you're, like, trying to follow a chart. You can just tape it across and then move it up. It just basically is replacing using a highlighter tape or one of those, like, magnetic board things with the magnet to keep track of your place in the chart. I just stick washi tape right on the plastic sleeve that I have the pattern in and so I just keep a roll in my um, notions bag and then the next thing I have is a tape measure this tape measure came from the loopy U. I feel like this was a freebie or something that I got like 10 years ago like I've had this one for exactly forever you can see it's so old like the label starting to come off um, but obviously it's good to have a tape measure so to measure things um, then I have let's see I have these little snips here. These ones look like an octopus here. And these are like tiny little scissors. I'll be on They don't cut the best. Um, I mean, obviously, you can tell they're like just so wee. Um, but these are really perfect when I'm out. That's all you need if you're just like working on a sock and you need to cut your yarn. Um, so I love this little guy. Um, but then I also actually do have like a nail clipper in there, um, which I actually had in there um, in my notions bag before I had the little snips, just because the nail clipper, I had an extra one and it works just as good for cutting yarn. So that's still in there. And then I have um, some needles. I have this like little case from Clover. I just, I don't know, I just like having the little case to kind of keep them in. And so they're just tapestry needles for weaving in ends. So these, I think all of these are the ones that came in this when I bought it. But it's just like a few different size tapestry needles. So I have that. And then, let's see. I have, now we're getting to the bottom here. I have one of these key things that you can use to um, tighten your interchangeable needles. Um, if you have Knit Picks needles or Knitter's Pride. I think this one came from Knitter's Pride. Those are the needles that I use the most often. Um, so I have one of these key things. Um, I never have a problem with the Knitter's Pride needles coming loose, um, but I do have it just in case one came loose while I was out, then I could tighten it back up. Um, there are other brands that are not Knitter's Pride where I have problems when I'm knitting that they loosen up, so then I want to have that thing to tighten it. Although I have found that a safety pin will or safety pin or paper clip will also work at a pinch. Um, and then finally in here, I just have some stitch markers. Um, I've got a couple of these like clover ones. I like those. Um, but then lately I've been enjoying these metal, these metal ones that look like a safety pin here. Let me 
do it like this so you can see. Um, so I bought a pack of a, like a hundred of these um, at Stitches Midwest last year. And um, I think I got them from the Stunning String Studio, I think was the name of the um, booth. Um, so I just keep a few in there. Um, I tend, I don't use a lot of stitch markers to be honest, but um, I just like having them in there in case like, especially if I'm doing things like fingerless mitts or mittens, then I do like one when I get to like the thumb gusset or something like that. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much it for what is in my notions bag. Um, I'd love if you would let me know in the comments below what you put in your notions bag. Um, sometimes I have a crochet hook in there. I currently do not. Um, even when I drop a stitch, I tend to just use the knitting needle. I don't really use a crochet hook much to pick up my um, drop stitches, but I'd love to know what you guys have in your um, notions bag. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. So yeah, that's it. I hope everybody has a great day and I'll see you again next week with a new video.